Welcome to this short tutorial on the FEMA Employee Performance Management System Semi-Automated Tool that has been designed to simplify the performance appraisal closeout for 2023 appraisal year. A number of us have sat for the promotion exam in June. In addition to the exam, the PMS appraisal also contributes to the computation of our performance, our promotion score rather. The purpose of this quick present tutorial is to guide us through both the self-appraiser and also the supervisor's appraiser. A link will be provided with login details for each staff through the HR office in the zonal office. So when we come into the system, when we have the link, we also have the, the login details. You'll be able to connect to our systems here in the head office. And when you connect, you're going to be seeing something like this. So this uh, is going to be like something you'll be seeing, but this time from your own end, you'll be seeing your states office and you'll be seeing uh, the contracts or the appraisal documents of all the staffs within your state or zonal office. For the purpose of this presentation, we'll be using direct labor. So you can see these are staffs on, in direct labor here in head office. I'll be using Ifunaya as a sample, a demo for this particular presentation or tutorial. So the moment you launch Ifunaya, double click Ifunaya, something like this will pop up. But this time it's going to be carrying your name and it's going to be carrying uh, the name of your zonal or state office. And once that opens up, you will see employee click start to begin, immediate supervisor click start to begin, counter signer click start to begin. The first thing we're doing is we'll be doing our self-appraisal. So self-appraisal simply means we'll be appraising ourselves. When we appraise ourselves before the supervisor who we report to on a daily basis will come in to do uh, the supervisor's appraisal. For the zonal office, the zonal head is most likely the, uh, the immediate supervisor for all staff in the zones. In the zonal office. In the state office, the FRME most likely will be the immediate supervisor for staffs in the state offices. So, as staff, we click here for our self appraiser, which is the start button under the employee click start to begin. When we click that button to start, it's going to take us to a page where we have access to putting our username and password. For the purpose of this presentation or this tutorial, I'll be using the admin, but every individual will have their own username and password assigned to them and will be shared with them. So I'll be logging in quickly. So all we just need to do is to punch in uh, the username and password that have been given to you. Most likely the username is going to be all caps, one of your names, all caps, and the password is going to be in small letters. So I'm putting in uh, the username and password here. So I've imputed username and password and it's giving me access to the system. So and you can see you can see your performance contract, monthly performance review, quarterly performance appraiser, end of year performance appraiser, performance improvement plan. You can see uh, welcome if if your name is Emmanuel, welcome Emmanuel, and your uh, zonal office will be right underneath. So, but if, for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the end of year performance appraiser because we are closing out on the 2023 appraisal year so that is where we'll be focusing on so all you need to do is just click 
the end of year performance appraisal button and it will take us to your end of year to your performance appraisal document. So this individual that we are actually looking at is Ifunaya here in the health head office in the direct labor unit and you can see her name and information and you can also see the information of the immediate supervisor and also the information of the counter signing officer. So basically what we'll be doing is appraising Ifunaya as a sample to show us how the appraisal is done and how simple it is. So basically, our, our appraisal forms were designed along, uh, along with the way the performance contract, the way we signed our performance contract. So what the focus will be is this section where we have the actual to the right, where we act, where we have the actual targets achieved. Underneath, you see your self-appraisal score, your self-appraisal, the score, supervisor's rating, and the score. So basically, what we'll be doing is imputing the score that we, we've achieved based on our on-the-job role. So for this individual, Ifunaya, we can see that in her performance contract, uh, her number one key result area says direct labor project management. And under the objective, she says coordinate orientation programs for new employees. And her KPIs is number of orientation sessions done in a year. And her target is two. You can see under the target, target set, she said that she's going to conduct two orientation programs in a year. So all she needs to do is to come into this self-appraisal column and just put two if she's if she's done two. Immediately she types in two the system understand what two means and will compute and do the calculation of what two is. And you can see immediately she put in two the system did the calculation and gave her 64. So you will ask me, how did we get 64? If you look at the graded weight, you can see that the graded weight is 64. Here. The graded weight is 64. It means that that particular activity is a big activity for her in her unit. So it takes about 50, 64 uh, weight in the things that she she does in that unit but per adventure if she's done only one the system also understand what one means and will calculate one meaning one is 32 and if she gets if she doesn't do anything she gets zero the system also calculates zero for her if you look at the second activity it says number of road environmental challenges identified within a year and her target is 36. So if she's done, if she's identified 36 challenges, uh, road environmental challenges in that year, all she needs to just do is to come in here and punch 36. The system understands what, what 36 means and it has worked out what 36 means. And you can see under this same graded width, you can see what 36 means is 6.169, which the system has brought to the nearest a whole number to say 6.17. So basically that is how you just punch in the scores for this other activity. She says she's going to do five and she did five and the system will just punch that. If here she didn't actually do 36, maybe she probably did 20, the system understands. And when she punches 20, the system recalculates and says and give her what 20 means. You can see that she's not getting the six points when she says she did only 20. The system is giving her three points for three when she does 20. If she does 10, or maybe she does uh, maybe 30 is in of 36, the system also understands and it does the calculation accordingly. So for this other activity, she said she did she's gonna do five. If for adventure she did 
just for the system, we also do the calculation accordingly and calculate the max accordingly. If you did two uh, here, sorry, if you did two here, the system will also you know, just do the calculation and give her for two. So this also goes for percentage. You can see at uh, this activity, she says uh, percentage of compliance with budget process. So if, if during the, the appraisal year, she's actually done you know, significant compliance, all she needs to do there is just to punch in 100% and the system does the calculation of what 100% means within that context. And you can also see uh, for these other activities, she just punches the numbers and the system does the calculation for her. After that, she comes to, and you can see the system is already doing the, the calculation in terms of the total. So if she continues punching in the numbers, the system does all the totals for her. That's the first part. The second part is the competency section. Within the competency section, uh, we are actually uh, scoring ourselves based on the competency that has been agreed and uh, has been imputed in our contract. So basically what we are doing here is just clicking on this section. When you click on that section, then you will see a, a tiny drop down. When you click that drop down, it's going to give you one to five. All you just need to do is select one to five, depending on what you think, how you behave within that competency. So you can see this is the rating scale for that for the competency rating of employee competencies and operational slash processes as follows greatly exceed expectation. So if you give yourself five, it means you've greatly exceeded expectation. If you give yourself four, it means you exceed expectation. If you give yourself three, meets expectation. Two occasionally meets expectation. One unsatisfactory. So basically, what you're doing is just coming here, clicking the drop down. And giving yourself that score and you see as you give yourself the score the system also does the calculation below and you can see it's giving you the scores based on the inputs that you provide for the system so after that this is all for the self-appraisal you can see all we are all we are feeling is the self-assessment not the supervisor's assessment so we go down to the operations and processes we also do the same thing with that drop down we just select and it does the calculation and these three sections are all over 100 each so according to the policy of the head of service this first part takes 100 marks sorry it takes 70 marks the competency section is 20 marks the operations and processes is 10 marks making it a total of 100 so you just ignore all this section and you come straight after you've imputed the score for your employee task, competencies, and the process, or operations and processes. You come to this section, you impute your comments, observation, whatever you want to feedback to management. You just type that. Uh, something like I will I need um, more training on report writing, for example, or whatever the issue that you want to actually report back to management is, you can just impute that there. And you come here, you just, you see, also see that same uh, drop down, then you can select completed or, or not uncompleted, just say completed, and you put in the date, which is today's date, the 16th, June, July, July 2024. So basically, and just click here, click the save. And what we've done, we've just basically done our self appraisal. So basically, that's what we've just done. Self appraisal, you can see how easy it is. It takes about it takes about less than 10 minutes for each individual to just go in punching the numbers and uh, the appraisal process 
for self-appraisal is complete. So the next thing we want to do is to go out, is to go back to this section. I'm going to log in again. As I log in, but this time I want to, I want to actually go in as the supervisor. So I'm going to come back out and click in the supervisor. So once the staff, all the staff finish their appraisal, all the supervisor needs to do is go in as a supervisor and impute. You can see now the name is Welcome Sunny as supervisor, not Ifunaya anymore. So this is Sunny. Sunny is the immediate supervisor of Ifunaya. So he clicks that and he gets brings him to this section where he logs in. Immediately he logs in. I also still log in with the admin just for the purpose of this presentation. So I'm logging in using the admin so I can get access to this page. So I'm in as admin. So the same thing I'm doing, I'm just coming straight to the appraisal document. When I click the appraisal document, I can see that if Unaya has imputed her scores, I can see just the scores that we've just imputed just now, you can see if Unaya has imputed her scores, all the supervisor needs to do is to come here to where you have supervisor's rating and just impute his own score. Something like this. And you can see the system also does the calculation based on. So the supervisor decides to give her the full marks if she's actually achieved what she says she was going to achieve. The supervisor can just keep giving her the full marks 100%. And the system is doing all the calculations. You can see the system doing all the calculations. So all the calculations you can see is all there. So basically that is what we'll be going through. And the supervisor is going to the system also do the competency appraisal as well. Just punch, punch in this course. And the system does all the calculation. When he finishes, he wants to put his comments somewhere here. He wants to first you know, talk about the employee strengths and weaknesses areas of improvement, then he comes here, he puts his comments, he also completes, he puts in the date, and we are good to go. And you remember to always save, when you finish, remember to always save. So basically what we've done in this short presentation, short tutorial is to take us through the system of what we'll be doing as individuals within this performance, appraisal closeout for 2023. It's very important that we quickly go through the system and do this so that we can have this course, especially for those that are due for promotion this year. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.